All right, this is a uh, video, first part in a two-part series, where what I'm trying to talk about is common binding errors that people, and issues that people have with the uh, DJI Vision Plus drones. As you can see, this one has the top off. Um, it's kind of my test drone where I do some work, and what I've done here is I've put a different Wi-Fi video transmission module in and what we're going to talk through is some of the issues that you get when you're trying to bind it. <clears throat> so first I'm going to show you the error state or the exception state where it doesn't do what you want. So sorry about the uh, bad quality of this but I'm using my backup phone so I can show you what happens on the Samsung S7 Edge which is doesn't allow me to bind things. So what we'll do, power up the drone. Again, these are not yet bound together. Then we're gonna power up the remote to make the drone happy. And we're gonna turn on the range extender, which hasn't yet bound with it. And let's watch, let's watch what's going on with the range, range extender as it boots up. You see these flashing lights, it's getting ready. So we can't really do anything until those flashing lights are over. Probably recommend watching this video at like 1.5 speed or double speed on YouTube because we're gonna have some kind of boring stages here. I'll try to pause during the waits. All right, so now the range extender is no longer flashing, it's actually booted up. Um, this range extender is bound to a different Wi-Fi module, it's, so it doesn't know, it doesn't see who it's looking for right now. <clears throat> now we're gonna go in here, you can use whatever pointy object you want, actually I'll show you the lights. Um, but you see right here, this is where you poke it, and we're gonna put it into binding mode. So, I'm going to hold it in, there I'm holding it in, the light comes on, steady, and off. Now it's going to reboot. So, we're back into that rebooting phase. And I'll show you, as it's doing that, I'll show you what it looks like in the app as we watch for that signal to come back. It's actually not ideal to have the two, the drone and the um, range extender right next to each other when you're trying to bind. So in a little bit, I'm gonna move away. Right now we just have my home Wi-Fi, there we go. The drone's Wi-Fi is back. Um, I'm gonna connect to it. It gives me some warnings, this is a Samsung S7 Edge, and again, this isn't going to bind right, so I'll show you what it looks like when things don't bind right. Alright, it's connecting to the range extender. It's going to give me a warning that says, hey, there's no internet on this. Come on. Another thing that's not particularly ideal. Yep, internet's not available. That's fine. Connect to it anyway. Um, another thing that's not ideal is I'm near my Wi-Fi router in the kitchen, so um, I don't recommend you do that either. So it's connected. I'm going to move the drone away about 10 or 20 feet. And what that does is that allows the range extender and the phone to talk to each other a little better. So, here we go, <clears throat> we're connected to the range extender, gonna go back out, right here we see phantom, we're not going to camera, we're going to settings, get near the bottom there, binding, and now what it's doing is it's talking to the range extender and it's made that connection. So, 
I have the option to put in the MAC address. I happen to know this. It is 0199F1. And this is the MAC address that you'd find right on the actual drone. I did it wrong. 0399F1. All right, so that wouldn't have bound no matter what I do. But here we go, I'll correct that. Zero, three, 99F1. Bam. Now watch what happens. I hit the first blue check mark. It does this little cycly thing. It's trying. Now when I hit the second one, there's no message and it flashed and it kicked me out to the main menu. Um, that's not a successful binding. So um, if you see that, that's a problem. And I have a second video in this series where I'm going to walk through how it should look when you successfully do bind it. No matter how many times I do it on this phone, that's the response I get. Um, and when you successfully do bind it, what you should see when you hit that check mark is you should see it should sit back in that screen and then when you hit the second check mark it should say binding successful and it should kick you out to the settings menu not to this main menu um, and right now the Wi-Fi connection has stayed stable which means the Wi-Fi range extender is not rebooting it's not going through its binding cycle um, and the camera this app, I just installed it on this phone again but the camera is going to give you this message range extender has 100% battery the connection of the phantom is broken notice there's no telemetry and there's black screen so that is not successful it says Wi-Fi disconnected that's also not a good sign even though it's connected here so what it's telling me here is even though I'm connected to the range extender's Wi-Fi, the range extender's not connected to the drone. Um, I'll link to the second video in the comments here, and the second video is going to show you how it should look. Thank you.